Hello, my name is Timoni Taylor, and I will be presenting to you today the second project proposal we have for Chipotle. First, we have our project description. For the second project, we are proposing a menu expansion project for Chipotle. Chipotle currently only offers five main entree items, including burritos, burrito bowls, tacos, salads, and quesadillas. With this menu expansion project, we would like to add two new items and the vegan versions of those items to the current menu in all locations. The first item is traditional Tex-Mex style nachos. The second item is the traditional Tex-Mex style crunch wraps. Next, we have the project potentials. The menu expansion project would benefit the customers by increasing their current Chipotle food options. The project would also have the potential to help Chipotle gain new customers to add to its current customer base. This project also aligns with the current strategy of Chipotle to retain and keep current customers loyal by listening to customer concerns and adding more variety. Next, we have the project stakeholder benefits. This project would benefit the customers by adding more value for them, for, for them to choose from. This project would also benefit Chipotle's current traditional stockholders who are invested in Chipotle. This project would add additional sales revenues to Chipotle's due to the items being sold, which would in turn have potential increases to the returns and dividends paid to those traditional stockholders. Next, we have our project assumptions. Here we have a list of all of our project assumptions, but we have certain critical assumptions here. We made the assumption that research and development would be around 60 million, the initial promotion cost would be 50 million, and additional sales would start at 84 million and then increase by 3% for years two through seven, and then have a 4% increase for year eight, and the variable cross Variable cost for this new food items would be around 30% of sales. Next, we have our project proje projection numbers. Displayed here, we have our project projection, projection numbers for the acquisition stage cash flows, operating stage cash flows, and the disposition stage cash flows, and our total stage cash flows. Next, we have our present value, our net value, profitability index, and internal rate of return projections. Next, we will talk about risk and risk mitigation. The risk involved with this project are cost risk and scope risk. One, man one action that management can do to mitigate the cost risk of this project is to develop and implement a cost risk monitoring and management plan. With this plan, management would monitor and track costs to see if costs are staying within the original plan of the project and if there are any sudden increase in costs. This allows management to discover any cost increases and what is changing the cost. Once changes can be identified, management can then plan how to decrease the cost and manage the risk of future increases. Another action that management can do to mitigate the scope risk of this project is to have set constraints and plans for the scope, resources, and outcomes of the project. It is important to have a set plan on the scope of the project that sets constraints for resources used and for what outcomes and goals Chipotle would like to get out of the project. In closing, we have our recommendations. We recommend accepting the project and going with lower cost parameters and having a cost risk monitoring plan. Next, we recommend using existing resources and limiting adding new resources that might bring on new additional costs. Lastly, we recommend a set project plan that outlines resources, goals, and a project timeline to stay within the scope. That concludes my presentation. Thank you for your time.